Okay, the next assignment is gonna build upon that, and that is I want you to take a photo with something really interesting centered, but really pay attention to things like um, the background. Let me turn this on again. Okay, so we got the angry bird. We got a lot going on in the background, but what we don't want to have is we don't have something you know, in the background like something growing out of his head or, or something. So really pay attention to what's going on there, and, and I'm gonna get in nice and close. I'm gonna do a centered one here. Okay, that's, that's looking really good. That's a great representation of an angry bird. So I'll let you do two, uh, but just try an interesting way to take a photograph of something centered. But notice, um, okay, okay, look at this one. This is good because I've centered him and I, you can see just the bottom of his feet and the top little fluff on his head is centered nicely. What a lot of people do is they center just the eyeballs. Let me go back to here and show you what a lot of people do. They just put the eyeballs in the middle. Let me go down here and just put the eyeballs in the middle. Okay, and this is, this is wrong because, okay, yes, the eyeballs are in the middle, but remember we want the eyeballs on that top line and we've cut off the bottom of him and we have all this space above his head. You know, that's not right. So, uh, so give me now two photos that demonstrate that you know how to properly center, like something like this, properly center a, a uh, subject in your photograph. Okay, so that's assignment number two.